You like my new apartment? Today I decided to go on Instagram for the first time in a while, and the first thing I see is... And to my surprise, my fucking gym teacher and uh, tennis coach is on Sports Center. Now this should be a historic day for us, okay? One of our town members here in Farmington or Franklin County actually made it on Sports Center. You never see that. As this is a, a victorious day for all of us Mainers, then you have to look at the comments section. Partially the reason why I don't like Sports Center is because the comments section is honestly just garbage. And yeah, after a while, it's like whatever, they're just fucking kids. But then, once they started shitting on Trick Shot Zach, that's when they took it too far. Okay, I had a problem with that. I just wanna go through some of them with you guys. Thanks for the sports, sports center. This is not sports. Why is this on sports center? I wish sports center would show sports because sports center never shows sports, right? ESPN would never do something like that. I'm not going to like 17 seconds in, I got bored. Three minutes later, came back to Insta and got mad this was still up. You're better than whatever this long drawn out stupidity is. Take a look at this guy's profile. Yeah, this guy should be taken very seriously. Hashtag Clark Kent. More like Clark Cunt. People spend more time commenting that they don't like a video than just going on the next one. It, it makes absolutely no sense. You say that it's wasting your time and you don't care, yet you're still commenting and interacting with the post. I don't understand why people get so, so pressed when something like this is posted. I really don't understand. All right guys, I actually found a solution. When you see something on Instagram that you aren't really a fan of, or you don't like, I found a solution where you can just totally avoid it. Watch. Not sports, right? Do you, want, do you know what you do if you see something you don't like on Instagram? You go to the next post. Now, Julio Dude for you underscore says, eh, six out of ten. It has potential, but part of me feels like we doing too much. Lol. He actually makes a pretty good correction and comeback from this. He actually saved his own legacy by saying, never mind, just saw this with the sound on. Nine out of ten. Exactly. Winner gets a divorce. Is that Andrew Garfield? I guarantee he learned this game at the University of Tennessee. Lol. Woo! Let's go Tennessee! Ball up! We're, we got it this year. This is our year. I'm telling you. Just look at our uh, past season records. Don't, don't, don't. I missed that, T. Hold on. Hold on. Any, Let me step on that real don't quick. Don't put any. Let me step on that. Let me put any Michigan. They haven't been good since you left. Someone need to be watching that baby. Now, if you watch the video, you see, uh, you know, little old Beckett in the background. So, what people who don't have children don't understand, all right, I have a little sister. She's like two and a half, okay? So, I've kind of been through all of this, all right? You don't have to watch the kid every second. If the kid has two feet, it can just walk around. You can turn your head for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and most likely the kid's going to be fine, especially if you do have a clean house with nothing to worry about and gated. Baby walking around aimlessly. Ta-na-na, ta-na-na, y'all down bad. What does that even mean? Oh, baby walking around aimlessly, it's not like that's what every fucking toddler does when they walk. I don't get why it's a thing where people online, they don't have any kids, but they act like they have like a PhD in parenting. Who's watching the baby? Lamau. The parents. The parents are watching the baby. Now, 4X underscore Geo actually brings up a good point. He says, what does this have to do with LeBron's legacy? And I couldn't agree more. Cosmo and Wanda not fooling anyone. <laughs> the house probably not even dirty. It's not, I've been there and they have a toddler. Why would they have it dirty? Well, that's it for our quick video today. Congratulations, Mr. Conlog, on making to, to Sports Center. If you guys don't follow Trick Shot Zach on TikTok, why aren't you? And I've been telling you this for a long time, Mr. Conlog. When are we gonna have tennis trick shots? And I'll see you guys in the next video.